Hey there, so off of work so I can address some of the questions about my post about the armed forces and what happened with my classmate. So imagine that you are at a holiday party with your husband on a military base, no less. So you assume you're like really safe, right? You're a disabled veteran, your husband's an officer, like you're having a great time and your doctor comes at you and attacks you. He's drunk, he's belligerent. People have to drag him out, okay? And everybody sees this incident and you're like, what just happened? Like, oh my gosh. And then when it's all said and done, and you go to the doctor, the people that own the hospital say you still have to like be treated by him. That's it. You still have to be around that doctor. You still have to be treated by him. There's nothing that they're going to do. Like nothing happened. So then when you go <laughs> to be treated and imagine like him reaching with the set of like, how are you going to feel? Like, do you want that person who was drunk and belligerent and took an oath to do no harm to then like treat you and your family? So that's what's happening in Japan on this military base. And from my research today about what's happening on this military base, this is one of many incidences that are quite confusing, disheartening, frustrating, disappointing. I'm the daughter of a veteran, the granddaughter of veterans, the niece of <laughs> veterans. And I expect them to be treated better when they're in service and when they're retired. When we have a veteran that is being attacked or hurt by anyone, it should be up here, the priority and what we do about it and to protect them and to give them whatever assurance that they need. But here's the thing, when one of our armed, uh, one of our like armed force soldiers, US soldier or a US veteran is attacked <laughs> by another US soldier, for me, that's treason. How do you come at your own? And even if you're in a state, a, a state of drunkenness or dissolution, like they say drunk men tell no tales, like at the very least, you should ask to resign or be reassigned because that's the good and right thing to do that you say, nobody has to tell me what the right thing is to do. I'll do it. Move me to a different base. She shouldn't have to, they, that family shouldn't have to deal with me, but that's not what's happening. It's disappointing. And somebody needs to do something and tell them that they need to do better and they need to treat <laughs> they treat each other better and they treat Americans better regardless of where we're at if we can't get Americans to treat Americans better <laughs> my god <laughs> there's really nothing we should be doing as far as like overseas negotiations or anything we're worried about terrorism but we can't seem to treat each other better what can we expect of others that's where I'm at today I'll be emailing and calling the people and I want answers I want to know why why wasn't the normal thing done if we were stateside, if we were at an American corporation, more would have been done. So that's the right ethical thing to do. Stay posted as I tell y'all more as it evolves. Bye.